Collect all your ingredients for making this delicious pan-fried Brussels sprouts with peanuts. For the initial tatka, we have mustard seeds, cumin seeds, urad dal, curry leaves, and red chilies. On this side, we have garlic, turmeric, coriander powder, salt, and roasted peanuts. In the middle here, we have our 20 to 22 Brussels sprouts, freshly grated coconut, lemon juice, and cilantro. We start by cutting off the old hard stems and removing any old leaves from each of the Brussels sprouts. We then want to cut each Brussels sprout in half, lengthwise. Crush or chop the garlic finely. Coarsely chop the roasted peanuts. In a nice deep pot, heat the oil for the tadka, also known as talimpu in South India, then add the mustard seeds, cumin seeds, urad dal, and the 6 to 8 curry leaves to the hot oil. Cover the pot with a splatter screen, and then allow the mustard seeds to pop and the urad dal to turn a nice golden brown. Once it happens, lower the heat to medium-high, and add the red chilies that have been halved and the crushed garlic cloves. Mix it well. Allow the garlic to turn a nice golden brown. And once it has done so, slide in the halved Brussels sprouts. Stir and coat the Brussels sprouts in the spices and the flavored oil. Let them saute for about 5 minutes in the oil until the outside of the Brussels sprouts start to brown slightly. Now that the Brussels sprouts are slightly browned, you can stir in the coriander powder, the turmeric, the salt, and the chopped roasted peanuts that you prepared earlier. You want to mix it in well to coat the greens in these other spices. Pour in about a quarter cup to a half a cup of water and allow the Brussels sprouts to steam and cook in this moisture for a little while. It will take another five minutes of cooking for the Brussels sprouts to become nice and tender and to absorb this saucy masala. Now that the Brussels sprouts are nice and tender, you can turn off the heat and do a quick taste test. If necessary, add a little more salt. And then add the final garnishes, the lemon juice, the grated coconut, and if you want, top with a little more crunchy peanuts before you serve them. Enjoy this wonderful dish with hot rice or a chapati or roti. And feel free to garnish it with cilantro for added flavor.